President Moon Jae-in shortly before making his way down to Busan held a bilateral summit in Seoul with the visiting Sultan of Brunei. The two leaders agreed to strengthen their ties in business related to ICT in particular. Our Shin Se-min has further details. Promising future partnerships on smart cities and ICT-related businesses, the leaders of South Korea and Brunei have renewed their country's ties ahead of the ASEAN-Korea Commemorative Summit scheduled to begin on Monday. President Moon Jae-in shook hands with Sultan Hassan al bolkia who will also attend the ASEAN summits in Busan. The leaders promised substantive cooperation for the development of the bilateral ties. ICT, smart city, 전자정부 등 첨단 산업과 국방 방산 분야에 이르기까지 양국 간 협력의 잠재력은 무궁무진합니다. 비전 2035와 우리의 신남방 정책이 조화롭게 추진된다면 미래 신산업 분야까지 협력의 지평을 넓히고 공동 번영을 이룰 수 있을 것입니다. The president was referring to Brunei's long-term development plan, Vision 2035, aimed at revamping the country's resource-dependent economic structure and making Brunei an industrial economy. For that, the leaders agreed to look into specific corporation projects so that Korean IT firms can share their experiences in Brunei's smart city projects, including the Kampong Air Water Village. The leaders also exchanged views on mutually beneficial relations in defense and arms development, as well as active cooperation on security conditions on the Korean Peninsula. As the ASEAN coordinator, Brunei will continue to work closely with the ROKs towards building a stronger and comprehensive partnership. Marking the 35th anniversary of diplomatic ties, the two leaders renewed their country's relationship in a joint statement promising a united push for synergy not only between the two nations but throughout the ASEAN bloc. Shin Se-min, Arirang News, Busan.